my mother was married to a man, our father, who was abusive. And um, at the age of eight, we moved to um, Kansas City to get away from him. Hmm. They, they were actually divorced at the time. So um, tell you an interesting story. We, in the middle of the night, one of my mother's brothers and a brother-in-law, they had driven down from Kansas City and uh, we threw whatever we could into the trunk of the car and my mother, myself and my two brothers got in the car with um, my uncles and uh, off we went to Kansas City, never to return. Mm -hmm. So basically we, we were fleeing from him. Mm -hmm. So that was your first recollection of domestic violence. You saw that in the home as you were growing up. And what kind of impact did that have on you? Well, My primary recollection of domestic violence was finding my father with a gun to my mother's head and uh, threatening to shoot her. And myself, my two brothers, you know, begging and crying, please don't do that, please don't do that. And how old were you, if you can recall? <laughs> Probably six, around six, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, fortunately, he didn't. Yes. But um, that memory, I will always have it. I will always have it. So um, we we ran away from it. Right. And was your life much different after the departure from? That, that space and that, that kind of abuse? It was certainly different because um, I wasn't around anyone that was abusive. Um, my mother was one of 12 mm. and many of her siblings were in Kansas City. So we ran to them and stayed with uh, one of her sisters for a short time until we could find a little, a little house. And um, I would say that I had a fairly happy childhood, quite honestly, you know, once we got away from that, um, because I had lots of relatives around, lots of uncles and aunts and my grandmother, my mother's mother was still alive and she was there. So, um, you know, we moved into a little house that, another memory I'll never forget, that was so infested with roaches. Mm. I don't even know if I should include this, but it's it's life, it's, it's what happened. Sure. Um, it was just a one bedroom. So my brother slept in the bedroom and my mother and myself, we slept on a sofa. Um, although I didn't do much sleeping for a while because I was so afraid of the roaches. <laughs> and um, I don't know how much you know about roaches, but when the lights are off, oh yeah, they, it's like fair game. Okay, let's get out of wherever we're hiding. Mm -hmm. Anyway, my mother, who has always or was always a very, very, very clean woman, she she worked on that until they were gone. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it was a pretty frightening experience initially. 